everyone, welcome back to another episode of Marai Club. I just finished recycling, got some money, got $21. If we go every month, month and a half or so. Um, anyway, oh, for those of you that shop at Costco, which I assume is many of you, um, it is actually cheaper to buy the, is it the one gallon jugs, the six pack versus the bottles, even though on the price tag, the bottle of, I think, 36 individual bottles is technically cheaper on paper. Once you account for all the, the bottling, the plastic fees, the CA whatever fee, um, it's actually more expensive once you check out. So fun fact, uh, that's what we do. That's what gets recycled most of the time. But anyway, this video, I wanted to go over um, essentially how long does your fuel card last there are so many variables to account for, but here's some, this, hopefully this gives you a general idea of how long it should last and how long it could last. So this is with the assumption, or this is based on the $15,000 fuel card that Toyota provides. Um, once you purchase a Toyota Mirai, obviously those lengths or the terms um, or how long it is active is dependent if you, dependent on if you bought a new one or a used one. But um, I think you'll find soon enough that it kind of doesn't matter. A new one at the moment, at the time that I purchased this vehicle uh, was six years or 15,000 miles. And for a used one, if I remember a certified pre-owned one uh, is three years, $15,000. Um, but yeah, so in this video, I'm gonna go over some metrics um, on the screen and then um, it'll give you an idea of some rough estimates, projections of how long uh, your your fuel card will last based on um, how often you fuel. And those frequencies will be based on some rough commuting metrics and things like that. But everything is supposed to be directional. I did not account for how you drive. Um, this is going to be based on my personal range. Um, I guess metrics, because uh, this car is supposed to get 402 miles per, per tank. I never get that. I get roughly anywhere from 310 to 320, give or take. Um, so I'm gonna be using that and also the projection manufacturers or the EPA estimates. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's go to the computer and show y'all um, the metrics. I apologize for all the moraying or the fuzziness here, but I think you'll get the general idea of what I'm trying to do. Let me start with the left. I know there's a lot of lines, but I promise there's a very simple answer at the end. I just wanted to ex like explain the logic here. Um, so I just put down what we know. The fuel card is $15,000. The tank capacity from Toyota is estimated at five kilograms. And the cost for a full tank is roughly um, $185. And this is using the current price at true zero at $36.99 a kilogram. And so to get this number, I just multiply the two, um, the, two uh, the two cells there. So simple math cost for per tank is $185 estimated. Uh, with current fuel prices the way they are, and if you are completely empty. And then average range. So I did my experience. Generally speaking, I get roughly 320 per tank. And then the EPA estimates about a 402 mile range per tank. And then cost per range is simply um, getting the total cost of the uh, tank divided by the um, the range that you get. So you can see that here. And that's how you get that. And then essentially my experience, I get roughly right now 58 cents per mile, or I, it costs me 58 cents per mile. If you use the EPA estimates, you're, uh, it's costing you about 46. So this is important because this, um, I'll cover these two scenarios or these two data sets in the estimation. Um, before we dive into the scenarios and projections of how long the fuel card will last, let's cover a high level of what I've seen the fuel change be since I've owned the car. So when I first started, it was roughly $17 at true zero in 2022. 
2023, it went from, from what I remember, uh, I believe it was 27 and then $30 per kilogram, roughly. I know there's some nuance in there, and I'm sure there's a chart out there you can see. But you saw a 67% increase year over year. And then currently, it's roughly uh, $36.99 for most True Zero stations, if not all of them. And that's a year over year change of about 30%. So if you use this growth trajectory, um, it's only two sets of data and it's not that much, but um, I averaged these out and I got this projection. I highly doubt it will get this crazy, but just a thought, I averaged out these two percentages and this is the growth trend we'll see in 2025 up to 2028. Probably not realistic, but I haven't seen prices go down. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And then this one, I just said, if we grow 25% year over year, we'll see this price point per kilogram that is. So both I think are very ridiculous. And by that point, I think these cars will be off the road if they get to these prices, but just something to keep in mind. But for this experiment, I'm just using the 36.99. So if scenario one, um, I did roughly 400 miles of commuting per month. And this is um, using roughly 20 miles per day. So 10 miles to and from work. Other stuff, about 80 miles, I think is very conservative. I think this view is a very conservative view in terms of your driving habits. Um, you barely go to the store. You just go to work, come home, and you don't do anything else. For my personal, um, your estimated card life for $15,000 will last you 4.4 years from my personal experience. And what I mean by that is I'm using my full tank, so 302 miles. If you use the EPA's rough estimate of 402 miles of range per kilogram or per tank, you'll get 5.5 years out of that $15,000. Um, so average monthly driven miles driven is just shy of 500. And the dollar spent is quite simply the miles driven times the average cost per mile. That's how you get that. And then you just simply do some simple math division um, of $15,000 divided by this number to get the number of months that you'll get. And then you divide that by 12, obviously. And then you get the years. So um, you just really need to pay attention to these really here. Scenario two, you drive a little bit more. Uh, one thing you'll know that's a little different from scenario one is that you go to some social events and you will you can expect the car to last uh, four years on my experience or 5.1 with the EPA estimates for range. Scenario three, let's add on some hobbies. Um, you have a slightly more... Um, active lifestyle, but all of these numbers, let me say, are pretty conservative. And then I'll cover that in the next one. But with that, you can expect the card from my personal experience of range per tank to be 3.3 years for the card life. And then the EPA, roughly four years, a little over four years of use. And then keep in mind, before I jump into my experience or my mileage usage, um, this, the card comes with $15,000. If it's new, you get six years till or one or the other until it either expires or if it if you run out. And for certified pre-owned, it's three years from my understanding, fifteen thousand dollars, whatever comes first. And then so this last last scenario is not really a scenario; it's pretty much what we actually do. Um, my wife and I drive roughly let's say a thousand ish miles a month. Um, and this is an average cause currently we're at like 23,000 miles or so. Um, and this is, I'm very much averaging that out per month, but roughly a thousand miles a month and same math. Um, how much is that per mile equals 577. And then the EPA, if we, if we got the 402 miles per gallon or per, um, tank we get 460 so our life card life expectancy if we started at fifteen thousand dollars would be 2.2 years 
or 2.7. And this is on, all of these scenarios are only if the price of hydrogen stays at 36.99. Granted, um, we did start when the price was 17, so our trajectory is a little bit different, but I just wanted to give you a basic scenario, exp essentially showing you what you can probably expect or how long you can expect your fuel card to last. Again, this is very, very rough math, but I think it gives you a ballpark of at least how long you can expect the fuel card to last. It was helpful for you. Um, again, these are directional metrics, give you an idea. If you are considering purchasing a Toyota Mirai, um, give you an idea of how long the fuel card will probably last. Um, this is with the current rate of fuel uh, prices. And then I also did some basic projections based on previous year's growth. But um, anyway, I hope it was helpful, give you a rough idea of um, how long the fuel card is likely to last. Obviously, you can extend the range or shorten it by your driving style, but I think it's pretty close. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.